Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yup. Jump over that jump. Yup. Yeah. Shorty gonna just hit the final flash on him. Bittersweet. You're gonna be the death of me. I don't want you, but I need you. I love you and hate you at the very same time Bittersweet Ooh You're gonna be the death of me I don't want you But I need you I love you and hate you at the very same time Bittersweet Who said it, mate? Classic song I kinda got a little wonky at the end there I kinda missed a little note It's okay It's okay I'll be trying I keep it honest What's good, ladies and gentlemen? The S of J Nation. And what's good with the League of Legends? Come on up to If you haven't seen, right, I dropped my reaction to the, the KDA Most song that just dropped. And y'all be showing wild dookie love to that, man. Yeah. I think that's almost a 90,000 verbs, bro, in one day. So you know I gotta keep the lead content coming. But the only way I'm gonna keep it coming. This video got to hit 2,000 thumbs up and 200 comments. Now, League of Legends Wild Rift is the mobile version of League of Legends. You guys are killing, not killing me, hitting me in the comment section talking about, yo, you reacted to that last KDA when you got to react to the um, cinematic uh, uh, League of Legends Wild Rift. And I said, all right. Now, this is what happened. I started reacting to it, and I realized the song that it was playing was a, was, a, was a famous song. Now, I don't know if they did a, ver a remix version of it or da da da. Regardless, it's all copyrighted content. It's all copyrighted material. So what I'm going to do, since this isn't a song, don't get it twisted. It's really more about the cinematics. I'm going to have the audio, I'm going to take out of the, the, the cinematic. And I'm going to replace it with some epic music behind or whatever. But this, we treat this like, because I watch a lot of Chris Stuckman, Jeremy Johns, you know. We're going to treat this like they treat a movie trailer breakdown. So let's get right into it. And we trying to catch every Easter egg, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna keep a little sound until the... Until the... All right, right here is where the... <laughs> right here is where the copyrighted song comes. So I'm gonna mute it now, but... I got an observation that I've made about Jinx. First of all, Jinx is in this bit. But let me, let me just let this go through and... Uh, I gotta figure out if I'm not the only person who thinks this. Okay, now, this is Shorty from Warriors, correct? This is the girl that was from the Warriors cinematic. Uh, obviously, I don't know her name, um, but I do recognize her. Yeah, I'm absorbing the lore. We're gonna be doing a lot of pause and a lot of breaking down because this is a cinema cinematic breakdown. And she bored in here. Really got me. Oh, okay. So she's supposed to be doing her studies, but she really wants to be on an adventure. I see what this is, huh? I see what this is—a little uh, Zelda chic situation going on. I see what it is. Uh huh. Yeah. Shout out to Sheik. I used to. I used to. I used to turn niggas into packs on Smash Bros. with Sheik, boy. When she get down through the three little needles, ooh. All right, yeah, so this is where we... Okay, this is what I've noticed about Jinx. First of all, love her personality, love the whole thing, da 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 You know who she reminds me of? Who I feel like her character might have had some uh, uh, inspiration from? Now, y'all gonna look at me and be... Y'all gonna realize how much of a nerd I really am when I, when I drop this little gem on y'all. Huh? She, look, she reminds me of Tank Girl. Tank Girl. It's a real obscure comic book and a real obscure movie. But if you've ever seen it, tell me that you don't get Tank Girl vibe from Jinx. I don't know why I put those two things together, but I did. You dig? So let's get back into it. Oop. Oops. My bad, my bad. Yeah, see right here is where I'm going to put the... Okay, and this is this is a this is a dude from the last 
uh, uh, I've reacted to him too. I mean, he's been in one of the things that I've done before too. Uh, he looking like Mitch Arugi, ain't he? Put his name in the comment section, but he looking like, that'll help me get to that 200 comments. He looking like Mitsurugi from Soul Calibur, ain't he? Yeah. He looking like that, uh, the main character from Samurai Showdown, ain't it? The Super Nintendo version. Yeah, I'm going real deep cuts on him. What they talking about? Oh, he can't even be bothered. He, with a spoon, the disrespect. Put in the comment section, hmm. Tank girl trying to get it. Jinx, trying to get it. Oh, you messed up his. Yo, one thing that they do an A1 job that they the, the League of Legends team always does an A1 job at, or Rift or whoever makes this, is visual storytelling. They tell, they communicate without dialogue. You watch the whole little, even you know their characters and their personalities with nothing. You could tell he a very, doesn't overexert himself. He's a strategist. He thinks it out. You know, he just barely moves, uh, get a little thing chip. And you could tell Jinx is more of a kick down the door and let the Yiggy spray. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, I haven't seen these people before. I don't know if they're just for the rip. They're probably not. Looking like the Iron Giant a little bit. Uh oh. They've all been transported to the battlefield. There goes Shorty right there. Hey, that's my nigga right there. The nigga with the, hey, hold up. Man. Don't hate on Puar, nigga. <laughs> you ever seen Dragon Ball Z? You know what I'm talking about. Don't, hey. Yeah, y'all keep, yo, don't hate on Puss in Boots, nigga. He gonna run and have that little, yeah, that little thing do something. <laughs> They're talking about before I go any further, shout out to the animators. Shout out to the animators. You guys are rock stars because Dead Serious League is 100% what League is because of the animators. The way that they're able to translate the median of League, the video game, the mobile game, into this is ridiculous. And it's so seamless and it's so. Okay. Well, uh oh, we got Geo dude in this moment. What about is that Katie? Is she in KDA? Is that a girl from KDA? Now, obviously, I only asked because I just reacted to the KDA, and once I see the little fox ears, I think we in KDA territory. Now, I don't know them specifically, each person, but that's looking very KDA-ish. Put in the comment section who she is. Okay, this is obviously the good guy side. You can tell by the covers. Yeah, she said, what y'all waiting for? Here, come through. Got the shark on her back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, damn, she a whole vehicle, ain't she? Okay. Look at this. Look at this visual storytelling. Not one... Oh, she had a spirit ball charged up. The Napa, Napa protected her. Napa saved her. She had a little spirit bomb charged up, didn't she? The fighting scenes in this, bro, y'all. The fighting scenes are so A1, bro, that I dead think that there are, like, if, if they, there are movies like World of Warcraft that I feel like aren't as good, well animated or as thought out as these cinemas. Dead cinematics, dead serious. Like, look at the fluidity of these fight scenes. I react to a lot of fights in this anime and not. Look at the, look at the jeep. Smooth. Butter, water, the frame rate is just jeep. Butter. Yeet, yeet, nah, Napa ain't having that. Butter, Never that. Get him, Iron Giant. Get him, Iron Giant. Yeah. Throw your little grenade, yo. Yeet, yeet. Mitch Ruka ain't playing. All right, now let me show you what visual storytelling is. Let me show you a visual storytelling. Watch. No dialogue. Watch this. Okay, you can tell he's running, escaping. He seems not worried, but his mind is running fast. Remember how I said he seemed like a tactician? His mind is running fast. Now watch this. His eye darts to this corner, which lets you know that he's uh, formulating a plot in his, in his head, right? Goes back to the tactician. And you could tell that he in battle mode now because he don't got... 
He got a dead serious face on. Now watch this. That little smile lets you know, I got this nigga. All of that was communicated without one syllable being uttered. Oh, I breaks it down, breaks it down. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yup. Jump over that jump. Yup. Yeah. Shorty gonna just hit the final flash on him? She go, this is it. Final flash. Ah, she gonna just big boy blast him, huh? Every time I see him, it makes my play this game, I swear. League need to find a way, and I know that it's like a free online game, whatever, whatever, but they need to find a way to make a game that looks like this. I think they need to make like a Ghost of Tashima, Batman, Arkham, uh, something, you know, open world game about a character, or maybe you make like the lore and pick different characters, because literally watching these cinematics, and, I'm, and it's like, this could be a movie, like it seems like there's storylines and shit. But hey, maybe they, they want the overhead shot. Stay like that. But I genuinely could see, and it feels like with these graphics, cause this got me wanting to play Wild Rift. I, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. League of Legends is so big that I'm surprised that they haven't tried to do a, a game like that. But hey, you put, if you watch this all the way to the end, put Kai the Hitchhiker in the comment section. I only said that because I see this nigga right here. But I'll let y'all, we out, League of Legends community, get to the 2,000 thumbs up, 250 or 200 comments, and let me know what's the next thing I should do. We out. It's League season, baby.